Hello, Alaska Red Cross donors. Uh, I'm Julie Kent. I am the Chief Development Officer for the Red Cross of Alaska chapter. Uh, you know me from the emails that I send you, the letters that I send you, and for some of you, I've stopped by to visit and met with you, which has been wonderful. As you know, we have had a very, very busy last two months with all of the national disasters that have been happening uh, all over the nation. And Red Cross of Alaska has been a big part of helping with that. The Red Cross of Alaska chapter helped train and deploy 80 people to go help with those disasters. So on a very local level, our disaster team was very, very, very busy. And for those of you who helped support those national disasters, we can't thank you enough. We received such amazing, heartwarming donations from everybody to help with Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, um, Hurricane Maria, and the California fires, as well as the Vegas shooting, which was um, just so heartbreaking. So thank you so much for that support that you've offered. But I want to turn our attention a little bit to the uh, Red Cross of Alaska, the local chapter here, and the work that our disaster team has done to not only support national disasters, but to support our community here. I wanted to share a very personal experience that I had yesterday. I joined a member of our disaster action team member for a couple that was in Providence Hospital that had been in a fire. It's the first time I had ever been to a call where we had uh, folks in a hospital, and it it was um, it was it was difficult. Uh, it was difficult, and um, we went in and met with the lady. They were both in two separate emergency rooms, and. Um, she just looked exhausted. I can't even imagine what it must have felt like. And, and their story was that they really quite literally woke up to their house on fire and had to run. Um, no clothes, no car keys, no purse, no anything. They just had to leave the house. Um, so we were there. We were there to offer comfort and support. We brought hygiene kits so that they would have shampoo and soap and a toothbrush because they don't have any of that. Um, we also gave them money to help them stay in a hotel once they were released from the hospital to go get clothing. I mean, I mean, I can't begin to tell you how heartbreaking it was to hear her say, I have no clothes. So we were able to give money and then she said, we lost our car keys in the fire, so we don't have a way to get to the store to buy clothes. So we were able to connect them with Checker Cab, who we have an account with, who will take them over to get some clothes. I mean, this is just quite literally, everything is gone. And I can't begin to express how proud I was to be a part of really just being able to meet all of her basic needs. She needed a place to stay, they need some clothing, and, and, and they also have money for food. And um, really, we were, we were the only people there offering that type of help. It's not offered anywhere else but through Red Cross. I was so proud to be there. And then we went next door to where the husband was, and I was not prepared uh, to see a gentleman that had burns. He had burns on his face. And, um, it, you know, of course, it made me a little, it made me just a little queasy. It was hard to see. It was hard to imagine that these people had gone through something so awful. But first of all, he gave permission for us to share the story because we asked him, can we please share this story? And he said, yes. Um, but he never stopped smiling, never stopped trying to make our day, trying to be so positive and thanking us for what we had done. And here he had been through one of the worst things you could go through. And he was just being so positive. We were so inspired and I left there uh, a little changed. I, I was so happy to be a part of the Red Cross and so happy to now have the opportunity to share. My one experience is, you know, this is what our disaster action team does several times a week. This is what they do and it's not always at seven in the morning. Sometimes it's two in the morning, sometimes it's 10 at night. Um, you never know when these things are going to happen. So I was so appreciative to be a part of that and I wanted to share with you that, you know, while, while we do have all of these 
terrible national disasters, we really are here also just supporting our local Alaskans. Um, I believe right now there's a fire in Nome and also, you know, Red Cross is making sure everybody's okay. So it's not just here in Anchorage, it's all over the entire state. We are making sure that people are safe and they have their basic needs met and um, that we can help them out. So I thank you so much for your previous support of the Red Cross. And I do ask that this holiday season, if you can, please do support your local Red Cross here in Alaska. Um, the work that you, uh, your donations allow us to do is just absolutely phenomenal. And we thank you from the bottom of our, bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much, have a great day.